This key concept video looks at the topic of the line of regression equation, which falls under the larger topic of statistical application. Now, these types of questions appear in nearly every single IB Math Studies exam, so they're very important. I highly recommend watching this video and then practicing some of the questions in the question bank section. Okay, so I'm going to talk about how to calculate the line of regression equation using our graphics calculator. We're going to find it in the form of a linear line, so y equals mx plus c. We're also going to find the correlation r, the correlation coefficient r. Now, if you're not sure what r is and, and what, why that's useful to describe the correlation, I recommend watching the previous key concept video, which is all about correlation. And then finally, I'm going to talk about why this equation is so useful for predicting uh, other data points once we have found this equation. Okay, so I'm going to use the same, um, same data set here as I used for the previous video. So I have the number of ice cream sold per day for a given temperature. And as we would expect, as the temperature increases, the number of ice cream sold increases. Now, I want to find the line of regression equation for this particular data set. And what that will mean, if I try to plot a line of best fit over these data points, which for these ones here are very easy because they're so highly correlated, I've just drawn that line as best fit. And this line of regression equation is simply the equation of this line. And it will be in the form of a linear line, which uh, is y equals mx plus c. And just to recap on this, the m is the gradient and the C is the y-intercept. Okay, so let's go ahead now and find the line of regression equation for this data set here. We're going to use our calculator. Uh, we start with this, we, we open a spreadsheet using this green icon here. Now I'm going to create two columns. Column one will be my temperature, usually the independent variable. So temperature in this case is the independent variable. I'm going to label my column T and I'm going to label my dependent variable. Uh, I'll call this I for number of ice creams. And now we go ahead and put our data in. So for the T column will be the temperature uh, row in our case. So 10, 15, 20, 25. And now I go up to the top of the second column and we put in the respective ice cream row values. So 50, 100, 150, and 200. Now here's where the stat calculation comes in. I now go up to the top of the next column and the sequence of buttons is menu, number four, statistics, Number one, stat calculations, and it's this number three here, linear regression MX plus B. We have to define our X list, which in our case will be the top row, and in pretty much all cases will be the top row. So the X list will be T, the Y list will be I, and then we can just simply tab down and select OK. Okay, so we have some good information here. The we have our M and B values. Now, I previously said MX plus C. The calculator uses the letter B. It means the same thing. So our M value is B and our C value is negative 50. So our line of regression equation for our data set here is Y equals 10X minus 50. So what does that mean? It means the gradient is 10. And it means that the Y intercept is minus 50. And what does the y and the x mean? Well, they're variables. We defined our x value to be the temperature. So this here is the temp. And the y value is the number of ice creams. And now you may be a bit confused here as well. Hang on, what's going on here? The beauty of this equation now, I'll rewrite it, y equals 10x minus 50, is I can estimate how many ice creams will be sold for a given temperature? So let's say I want to. Let's say I'm the store manager, and I want to say, well, when the temperature is 17 degrees, how many ice creams are going to be sold? So I want to find I, 
the number of ice creams when temperature is 17. Let's say tomorrow is 17. I want to predict how many ice creams to put in the freezer. I can now go, well, instead of the X, I can put my temperature in. And that's the beauty of the line of regression equation. So 10 times 17, 170 minus 50. So 120 ice creams we predict using our line of regression equation will be sold. Now, the other point that I want to talk about is when we do this calculation, it also gives the R value, the cor correlation coefficient value. And in this case, it is one. And if you saw the previous video on correlation, a correlation of one means it's extremely strong. It's actually perfect correlation. So as one variable increases by a certain amount, the other variable will also increase by a certain amount, by an, an equivalent amount every time. The other point about a perfect correlation of one is the line of best fit will go over every single data point. If it's not one and slightly less than one, there'll be data points like this. Okay, that's it for this video. Um, I hope that was useful, but I do highly recommend practicing some of these questions. Line of regression equation questions usually comes in at about part C or part D in statistics questions. So I recommend going and practicing some of those questions now.